What's going on guys? Today we are back and today we're actually doing a bit of a lighting upgrade on my 1989 Toyota pickup. Brought to you in part by Alpine Toyota. This company called Oxbeam reached out to me on Instagram and offered to send me some headlights and here they are. So they are an LED high beam, low beam, DOT approved and they've got running lights right down the middle of them. And they are made to fit the same 5x7 housing that is stock on these Toyotas. But there's a catch. Toyotas use a double negative system for the headlights and they need to get an adapter slash conversion harness to even run the LED lights. It's pretty straightforward when you get these harnesses. Uh, I bought this one on Amazon. I'll link it in the description below. You give it power, ground, and it's essentially plug and play. So I have come across a pretty major issue uh, with the installation of these headlights. And the problem is all these heat distribution fins all over the back. If you try to put these in the housing, as you can see, it simply doesn't fit. It's interfering all over the place on the inside here. But if you take the chrome ring that goes around the outside, that fits perfectly just like it should. So what I did is I took a spare housing, spare one of these guys that I had laying around and I cut it down. I cut down the edges on the outside, but I retained these ribs here so that it still fits inside the rad support. But now check it out. And now fits nice and snug in there. So I should be able to install this now that I have a modified housing. So now that we know that these housings can be modified to work in my pickup, I'll show you exactly what I did on the other one. We wanna retain these factory ridges here because these ride on little plastic bits that sit inside your rad support. And when you adjust your headlight alignment screws, it moves back and forth on these ridges. All I did was I took my grinder and I cut back like this on each of these. And then from there, this whole front face here Connecting these ridges also needs to get cut out. All right, here's the deal. I am not gonna recommend the harness that I use for this LED conversion. Reason being, I had to completely strip it apart. The relays were wired entirely wrong and the actual H4 plug itself was also wired wrong. So yeah, I took my multimeter out, my test light, and honestly, it would have been easier for me to just build this harness from scratch than to try to figure out what the heck was going on with this Chinese harness. With that being said, I did eventually figure it out. Check it out. So, now that the bezel is done for this side headlight mount, let's put it together.
All right, and now that those headlights are in, it seems like a really good time to tie into another lighting mod, and that is these guys, rock lights. And now, if you don't know what rock lights are, these essentially go in your inner fenders and then light up around your wheel so that when you're wheeling at night, your spotters can see exactly where the rocks are around your tires. And not only that, but rock lights just look really cool on video and photo snow wheeling. So with winter coming in real quick here, it's, uh, it's about time to throw these in. Now, I really don't want to just mount these underneath and then just send self tappers through it because that's going to look really hokey coming through my inner fender here. So what I've done is I've lined this up with the center of the wheel arch just so I know where I need to drill. And I'm going to drill out these holes. And then from there, it'll actually get a bolt that comes up from the top down. That way it just looks a lot cleaner up on top and uh, yeah, doesn't look as tacky. Now, before I even bother trying to route this up and over and into the cab, I picked up these extensions right here to clip on. And then I'm going to take it a step further and use heat shrink and seal up that connector. Just because I know for a fact, this is not going to reach where I need it to. And in fact, this probably won't either, but at least if this connector ends up outside of the truck, it'll be nice and sealed up with some heat. If you look really closely back here, you can see a grommet right there. That is actually where I am going to put the wires from the back of the truck into the cab. And this is between <laughs> the box and the cab. So one of the issues of running these rock lights is there's so much random wiring that goes absolutely everywhere. And I've been kind of going back and forth with myself here trying to figure out where exactly I want to, where I want to put the control box and all that stuff like that. And I think I've landed on kind of what I want to do. So I'm mounting the control box right here behind the factory fuse box. Right now I just have it zip tied there. Um, and I have the leads coming up right here on the firewall. This allows me to run over there, connect that one pretty easily, run down here, connect this one, and then I'm going to run two leads back into the cab and then pick up those two going to the back wheel wells. Yeah, hopefully I get this cleaned up so that it looks somewhat presentable because, I mean, honestly, I didn't want to install these for that exact reason. I've been trying to keep my wiring as clean looking as possible. So I got all the rock light wires run. It's connected to the battery. It has a ground. I tested it and it works great. So now I'm actually going to move the switch that comes with this harness and I'm going to connect it to the switch panel that I already have in my truck. So yeah, I've cut off the switch and it's got to run a couple of wires down into the cab and it's essentially done. So this is just driving down my alley here and then low beam that's not bad at all high beam significantly brighter that's pretty good that's not bad I'll flick on high beams again I wish I had a comparison shot so that you could see what this looks like compared to my halogens but it's definitely, definitely an upgrade. 
Now let's go check out the rock lights. So right now the rock lights are just set up on a fading in and out of different colors. And I mean, that looks pretty sick. It puts out plenty of light and just look how bright those headlights are. And as you can tell in this video, I have those headlights adjusted to point pretty much straight at the ground. Uh, because they're so bright, I was worried about them blinding other drivers, but I'm gonna adjust them up just a tad. But yeah, overall, super happy with those headlights. And yeah, that's about it. Anyways, guys, if you could do me a huge favor and smash that thumbs up button, that would be greatly appreciated. And hey, consider subscribing. I upload weekly Toyota building, wheeling, and off-roading content. Anyways, yeah. I'll see you next week. Peace. I'ma make a couple stacks, do exactly what I want to. Mix a couple tracks, get a lady that I'm drawn to. Turn up to the max, get me faded till I'm gone, dude. I do what I want, couldn't stop me if you wanted to. I just work hard, yeah, harder than the rest. Some people say I'm lucky, others say